you spend any time at all in the shop, most everyone is familiar with Machinery's Handbook, and most everyone has an older version. This is a 20th edition. Uh, some guys are working off World War II editions because basically the information contained in this book doesn't really change. They simply add to it as time goes on and new techniques are developed. But basically if you pick up a, uh, a 10th edition or a 20th edition, the information is going to be the same on most of the functions or most of the formulas that you're going to be looking for anyway. This is a huge book. It's well over 2,000 pages. It's got weights and measures. It's got non-ferrous alloys. It's got pattern making information. Speeds and feeds, very important to us. Taps and threading dies, also something that we use on a daily basis. Allowances and tolerances, bolts and nuts, I mean stuff that you in a million years really have never cam milling. Most people are not really going to do any cam milling unless you're a cam miller. Wire rope, I mean this thing contains pretty much everything yet there's only probably about three or four sections that we concern ourselves with on a daily basis. So that's fine. Uh, most everyone has one of these books as I said. It's stuffed in their toolbox somewhere or off on a shelf and periodically if we can't remember what size uh, drill to use for a particular tap we'll come and we'll refer to this. Now that's all fine and good. It's an excellent book. It's a, certainly a, a terrific resource but there's got to be a better way and there is and that better way is Calculated Industries Machinist Calc Pro. This calculator has basically all the information that's contained in Machinery's Handbook that's pertinent to the type of work that most of us do. Threading data, feeds and speeds, RPMs, cutting speeds. It has a function for bolt patterns, uh, diameters, converting from metric to inch, triangle solutions. Basically, again, everything that we work with on a day-to-day -day basis in the shop. And it fits in your shirt pocket. Machinery's Handbook doesn't. While I'm not going to cover every function of the Machinist Calc Pro Calculator, I want to point out some of the features that make this a must-have tool. So let's take a look at the thread size key. The Machinist Calc Pro has an extensive library of thread data contained in its memory. As a matter of fact, there's more complete thread data in the Machinist Calc Pro than contained in the Machinery Handbook. Now that's a bold claim, but after you use this calculator for a while, you'll come to believe it. The thread size key allows us to enter any size thread and with the push of a key find out what drill size we need for cut tapping, roll tapping, close fit drill size, free fit drill size, maximum minimum pitch diameters, and major and minor diameter maximums and minimums. So let's enter a 1024 tap. Press 10 and hit the thread size key. Press the key again and we can begin to cycle through all the pitch diameters available for that particular size. 1024, 1028, 1032, 1036, 1040, 1048, 1056, and back to 1024. With only a couple of key presses we've discovered that there are seven different pitch threads for the number 10 tap size. Once we've determined what thread pitch we want to create, we simply hit the on clear key which stores the tap size and then hit the thread size key to cycle through all the tapping information. Using our 1024 selection, what size tap drill would we need? A number 25. If we were to use a roll tap, we'd use a 4.3 millimeter drill. A close fit would be a number 9 and a free fit would be a number 7. And from there we can see our major and minor data for pitch and diameters and this really covers all the bases and does it in a matter of a second. No leafing through the book to find data. The next key we're going to look at is the drill size key. Again, here we have a key that will get us all the information we could ever want when sizing a drill. Let's say for a minute that you need to drill a hole that is 137 in diameter, 137 thousandths. What drill would you choose? Well, enter 137.137 and hit the drill size key. Voila, we have a number 29 drill. Now, of course, that's only 136, as we can see here, so we'd have to ream to the final size. 
If we wanted to give our reamer a little more material to work with, we can simply hit the minus key and find that the next size smaller would be a 3.4 millimeter drill. At 1.339, that gives us a little extra meat for our reamer to deal with. Continuing to press either the minus key or the plus key, we'll cycle through all the available drill sizes. With the drill size key, you can also immediately size a number or letter or fractional drill simply by entering the drill size. For example, a number 56 drill, we know instantly that it's .0465 thousandths of an inch. If you want a decimal equivalent of a letter drill, press the keypad with the numerical value of the letter drill you're interested in. Let's say 10 for a letter J. Hitting the convert and 8 key, which gives us alpha, will bring us to our letters. Once we have letter J, alpha J up there, all we have to do is hit drill size, and we know instantly again that a letter J drill is .2770 in diameter. Now, it works in both directions. We can go down and cycle through. We can go up simply by hitting the plus or minus keys and cycle through all the available drill data there. But if we wanted to enter a fractional drill size, let's say a 21 30 seconds drill, we'll hit 21 and then again using the forward slash key, 32, and you can see there we have 21 30 seconds. Hit the drill size key. Over here we show 21 30 seconds, 0.6563. The user manual goes into great depth and covers all the ways that these keys can be employed. For milling or lathe work, the Machinist Calc Pro can do all the calculations that formerly were done with pen and paper, or a regular calculator, or a book. Let's say that we want a 5,000 ship load on a four flute cutter running at 1,500 RPM. What would my feed rate be? It's easy. We enter five one thousandths, five, hit the thousandths key, and enter feed per tooth. Then we'll turn around and enter four as the number of teeth. Then we'll finally enter our 1,500 RPM and hit RPM. Now if we want to know what our feed rate is, we simply hit the feed rate button and we come up with 30 inches a minute. Simple as that. If you're turning in the lathe, you can enter the size of your part in the surface feet per minute and again press RPM to find out your correct spindle speed. If you have a one and a half inch diameter and you want uh, 300 surface feet per minute, all you have to do then is press RPM and find out that you turn your lathe at 764 RPM or as close to that as possible. And when it comes to triangle solutions, the Machinist Calc Pro is right there to simplify your calculations. Following standard trigonometric rules, the calculator can solve for any right triangle problem. Given the adjacent horizontal value and the opposite vertical value, the hypotenuse can be determined simply by pressing the button. A 5 inch adjacent, which is the horizontal, and a 9 inch opposite would give us a hypotenuse of 10.2956 inches. That's about as fast as it's going to get. The user manual again covers a multitude of formulas and ways to employ the calculator. It's a very helpful feature, by the way, for chassis work among other things. While this calculator is easily worth the hundred dollars that I've seen it go for on sites like eBay and the like, our friends at H&W Machinery has them on sale now for only $69.95. Now I don't know how long that's going to last, but I'll tell you, this is one of those tools that you didn't know you needed until you get one, and then you'll wonder how you got along without it. Check it out and give them a call, and when you do, please tell them that you saw it on HRE.com. And finally, the calculator comes in a great case. It's really protected from uh, bumps and bangs. It's got a hard plastic cover and a solid rubber case that takes care of the calculator when it's not in use. There's also a quick reference guide built right in, so if you happen to forget how to figure something out, it's right there on the back for you. I'll tell you, this is a really nice tool. I'm really glad I have one, and I think if you get one, you will be too, because this really does take a lot of the drudgery out of the work that we do on a day-to-day -day basis.